Cleaning fish is really nothing to worry about as long as you have a sharp knife. A dull knife is where you're going to get in trouble. So if you have a sharp knife, you get the first of three cuts right behind the head. You want to get under the scales, get the knife blade started. Don't saw, just pull nice and clean. And then get up onto the spine and lay the blade on the spine. It'll just cut right in. Get the knife started. Don't saw, just get it started. Get laid up on the spine and just pull her through. As long as you're not sawing, you're not going to get hurt. Now we've got, we're, we're cleaned here, cleaned here. Now we just got to get through the rib cage. So we're just going to get our knife all the way through. And real quick, towards the head, boom. It's all about a sharp knife. One more time. Just want to get the blade up under the scales nice and slow. Then make a clean cut. There's no reason to go straight down because the belly meat's going to be cut, trimmed off later anyway. Get the blade started under the scales, just lay it flat on the spine. And we'll go ahead and get it through. And then you feel the rib there, boom. That's how you whack a snapper. To finish, if you have a little bit of stomach meat left, I like to go to my trim blade, get that sparring meat out of there. Gone. Make repetitive cuts too. Makes it a lot simpler. Whatever you do, do it as many cuts the same as possible. Now we're gonna get rid of the skin. We're gonna get the blade flat on the table. We're not sawing. We're just pulling this, pulling the fillet towards us. That's gone. We're gonna do the same cut again. Especially when you're doing dolphin or lots of snappers, do the same cuts over and over again. And it goes just like that. Only thing left now is before we bag it, we want to get rid of this little bit of rib cartilage right here. You can feel it going across the grain. You can take your knife on either side of it. Just, it's a notch, or it's a notch cut. That's rib meat gone. One more time, you feel it with your fingers. You don't have to go any further after you don't feel it anymore. Keeps the whole fillet together nice and pretty. There you have filleted snapper, bam.